If you've ever played Minecraft, you may have heard of something called a note block. The note block is an in-game block that allows you to create your own music from within Minecraft. The way you might use this block is by placing it down in the world, and then right-clicking it to change the pitch. So how would you make something like this in Game Maker? Well, the most obvious answer might be to create a separate sound file for every possible note that you want to play, and then just play each sound in order. While that technically would work, there are some issues with this. It would be a lot of effort to create all of these sound files, import them into your project, and then create the necessary script to play them all in order. Not to mention that if we wanted to have multiple instruments, we would have to repeat this already lengthy process. In addition, you have to also worry about audio groups. Loading and unloading all of these sounds for use in your game could end up being a real pain. And lastly, having that many sound files could end up really bloating the size of your project, and you probably don't want that. So how do we accomplish this? Well, we can do it the same way that Minecraft does it. We can use a single audio file and change its pitch dynamically. Luckily, GameMaker provides us with a simple function that allows us to change the pitch of our audio on the fly, and that function is Audio Sound Pitch. We use this function by passing in an audio index and a value we want to modify our pitch by. Under the hood, this function takes the number value we provide and multiplies the current pitch by that amount. This means that if I provide a value of 1, then the sound will be unchanged. If I enter a 2, however, this will double the pitch of the original sound, which will result in a higher sounding audio. So now that we know how to change the pitch of our sound, we need to figure out how to change our pitch by the exact amount needed to create standard musical notes. Of course, you could just keep trying numbers until you hear something close to the right note, but that's not practical. In order to create any note from any given starting note, we'll need to do some math. But before we get to that, we need to talk about the frequencies of musical notes. When you press a key on the piano, the piano string will vibrate at a very specific speed in order to produce the right sound. This vibration speed, also referred to as cycles per second, or hertz, can be labeled as a frequency. Modern music uses very specific note frequencies, and these frequencies are commonly referred to as concert pitch, or A440. It is called A440 because it is based around an A4 on the piano vibrating at 440 hertz. A chart of all note frequencies in this tuning can easily be found online, and this will act as our guide. So let's say our sound file and starting note will be this key, which is middle C, or C4. If we look back at our chart, we'll see that C4 has a frequency of 261.63 Hz. Great, step one is done. We have the frequency of our starting note. Step two is determining the frequency of the note that we want. So let's say we want to use our C4 sound file to play a G4. The frequency of G4, according to our chart, is 392 Hz. So now that we have our two frequencies, we can figure out what number we need to multiply our pitch by. We know that audio sound pitch multiplies the original pitch by whatever value we provide. Using this knowledge and some simple algebra, we know that we can determine what this value should be by dividing our desired frequency by our current frequency. So taking our frequencies from before, G4 divided by C4 equals this. Just punch this number into audio sound pitch and you get G4. We now have all the pieces we need in order to create a full-blown virtual piano from a single sound file. All we have to do is store all the frequencies from our A440 chart in some kind of variable, like a DS map for instance, and we can reference the frequencies whenever we need to. If we wanted to create an effect like the one in Minecraft, we could just increasingly divide the next note by the current one. In the description, I've provided a download link to an example project that does just that, so feel free to download it and check it out. It includes the full DS map of the entire A440 frequency chart mapped by note. I've also included a link to the frequency chart itself for those interested. Okay, that wraps it up. Hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.